where did the idea come from for this? Director. But you got the idea from him, but when you sat down to write, where does your inspiration come from? Um, see, I, I got a few pages from him, like wanting to, yeah, just a couple pages wanting to deal with like um, animal rights uh, activism, and he had this kind of mysterious feel to it. And then, the truth is, it just started writing, and just started cranking, and then I got to the end, and I was like, hey, there's a good story here. That was really it. So everybody's talking tonight about the surprises and the twists and the turns and that. When you were in a zone and you were writing this, what, at what point did you step back and you said, okay, I'm gonna go this way, I'm gonna go that way? Was there any point? you did that? I, you know, I've been a crime writer for most of my career, and I've, I, you know, I've written for Clint Eastwood and stuff, so everything's been always in that kind of thriller genre, so my brain just automatically goes pretty much, yeah, so, and that's how it kind of came about, so, and then the surprise ending, the truth was, when I was looking at it, I was like, oh, I don't have an ending for this thing, and then I went, oh, wait, this works, and then I wrote it, and it worked out, so it played okay. Yeah. Well, what should I expect tonight when I go in and I see this film? What am I going to come away with? Awesomeness. I like this Director. awesomeness. This director's the first time director was really good, and he really had a good vision and vibe. So it made it, it made it easier. He knew what he wanted, so putting the words on the paper wasn't. Well, we chatted with him, and he seemed very passionate about what he was doing, and he had a very specific idea and look. So are you happy with the end results, right? Yes, very happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks amazing. So I actually get to see it color corrected now, so I'll begin to see the whole thing. Yeah, so it's good. How can we find you on social media? What, what can we keep a track of you? Um, uh, Twitter is uh, at the real bocce, um, and then Facebook is Mark Bocce, and um, I have a novel coming out uh, September, and you, called The Simple Man, which you can find on both uh, both sites. Well, I'm gonna follow you because I want to read. I love crime drama, so I have a new person now, guys. Mark is right here on the carpet. I'm gonna read all his stuff. Thank you for talking with us. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Christina Rich, share with me. How are you involved in this project? tonight. I'm a producer of Nameless and I'm really excited to be part of it. It's been um, just a great adventure to team up with Amir because he's really passionate about this and the story. So to have the opportunity to help share his vision has been really great. Are you a pet lover? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. When you get a project, a script, what are you looking for that excites you as a producer that makes you say, yes, I want to get involved in this? Right. Well, I think it's exciting when somebody really cares about it and they have something they want to say, and Amir does. So that's really powerful. Now, tonight we're seeing the screening for the first time. What should an audience expect when we go into the film, and what should we expect when we come out? Um, I think it makes a lot of great statements, and I think there's going to be a few surprises, um, and just great, great talent and a great story. Okay, well, we won't ask you for any spo spoiler alerts, but we appreciate you, you know, having us here tonight, and thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Of this, and everybody's talking about your passion. Where did this come from, and how did you decide to do this particular story? Well, the, the, basically, the idea is that these animals are voiceless and helpless, and they need someone to speak for them. And I believe it's uh, long overdue for everyone to really take a serious look at their actions and the consequences of our actions and what it does to the animals and our environment as well. And keep in mind, it's we are all in this together. What's good for them is good for us ultimately. But of all the topics that are out there, why did you choose this particular subject? Because this is something that I believe uh, is mostly being ignored up to now and it gets trampled over the matter of profits and other the reasons of that sort and someone needed to come up and make a statement and hopefully it just starts a conversation well tonight we get to see this film so what can i expect when i go in to see in the name of the nameless but there's a lot of action and it's very vivid it's uh Basically, very truthful. What you see is what exists in real life. And so, thank you. I can't wait to see it, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you so much. Armin, tell us tonight how are you involved in The Name of the Nameless? Um, I'm a producer on In the Name of the Nameless. 
and Amir came to Suzanne with the project and he's very, very passionate about this subject and it's a really, really incredible statement piece. Well, that's the word I'm hearing tonight. It's all about passion. Yes. Now, as a producer, when you get a script, besides what are you looking for besides the passion you have for the project? What is, what, a, what is it about that script that has to say, yes, I want to be involved? Not only is Amir very passionate about the script, but it's also there's great content inside of the script. It's a very good way for him to bring this topic to light with a great concept and a great script. So what can I expect from uh, this film tonight when I see In the Name of Nameless? A lot of surprises. Everybody's saying that, surprises, but no one will tell us anything. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's okay, no spoiler alerts, that's all right. Um, when you work with this team, what was it about this team that was so special to you? Everyone's very passionate. Everyone in a part of this project is very passionate about the subject. Excellent. Well, we're excited to be here, and congratulations in the name of the nameless. Thank you so much. Thank you.